Hi, today is May 27th here in DeWitt, Michigan, and today we're going to take my Queen Castle, the yellow one here. Uh, I bought this over the winter and put it together, and this is a, uh, a place to raise queens. There's four compartments inside of here, and uh, we're going to try to stock this and see if we can raise up some queens this summer. So this is part one. We'll kind of do this in maybe two or three or four segments along the way and see how it goes. But the green nook box over here, this is a swarm that I caught a couple weeks ago. And uh, this morning I took the queen out of this, uh, this hive. Um, she was doing great. There's lots of eggs. Uh, she's been laying tons of uh, eggs in, in here. Uh, so we should be good to make queens, but um, I had another hive that was missing a queen and so I took her out of here and and put her in the other hive uh, This morning and I'll check in a, in two or three days and see if she's been released from the cage. I put her in Okay, I wanted to show everybody this queen castle here. I've numbered the entrances. There's four entrances There's one here on the east side two on the front three is or actually number four is over here on this side and three is on the back. If I open up the lid, you can see there's four compartments and I've numbered those as well. Um, there's enough room in each of these compartments for two frames to go in each one. One will have uh, lots of eggs on it, hopefully, and lots of nurse bees. And then the other one will be mostly an empty frame That'll give them lots of work to do while they're waiting for the new queen to come out. So this is a frame that was brand new a couple weeks ago. They've drawn it out pretty well. Lots of eggs in here. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if you'll see this or not, but with the black um, with the black foundation, a lot of times it's easier to see. And looking for little white specks in the center of those cells. Those little white specks, those are eggs. And this is this frame is just full of them. So we're definitely going to put this frame in one of the uh, compartments here. In fact, I'll go ahead and put this one right here in compartment number two. Let's check out this frame. I gotta make sure I have enough bees in there too to take care of the brood. So this one Yeah. I don't really see any eggs in this one. So I think what I'll do is uh, shake some of these bees in here. Well, no, we'll just put this one right in here with, we'll put these two in the same compartment here. So there we go. So there's uh, there's plenty to do for them here on these frames. There's two sides that haven't been drawn out yet. Okay, and there's lots of bees in there now with, with eggs. So there's compartment number two. Okay, this next frame I think we'll put that one in compartment compartment three. The entrance for three is on the back. That way their entrances are completely on opposite sides. Okay. Again, lots of uh, there's going to be lots of bees in this one before too long because there's there's lots of cap brood on these, but there's also a lot of larvae in here. So hopefully they'll be able to raise a queen up in this one as well. And then this is just a uh, blank frame here, and so they'll have plenty of work to do while they're waiting for the new queen to be, to come out and be released. I'm gonna shake a few more bees in, in compartment number two actually. In fact, I may even grab a frame from another hive 
and try to shake some more bees in there just to make sure they have plenty of bees. There we go. Got some sticks that were left over from the swarm that I caught. Okay. And there we go. So I'm going to check back here again in uh, about a week or so and see if they've drawn out queen cells.